What's up ladies and gents and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 where we do another festival playlist and this time we are in the autumn and the first thing as always is the photo challenge. Now for the photo challenge as you can see take a photo of your car with another player or drive avatar. Now there are two ways to do this as it already says you can either find a player so as you can see these dots on the map if we can find one, there's one for example, those are other players. Now you can drive through the map or fast travel close to them and hope you get one of them on the picture. The other way is you go to Horizon Live here on the sec second page and go to Horizon Solo which spawns a lot of drive avatars. Which you can once again Spot on the map, now they spawn. There should be one right ahead of us. Yeah, there he is. They are much more frequent and a lot, a lot easier to find because they don't really drive away very quickly. They drive relatively slowly. And when you take a picture of your car and the drive avatar car, and that's it, contains your car and another car. And that completes the challenge. What you can also do is also really easy. You can go to the map, you can start an event. Turn around. And there's one like right behind us. And when you start the event, you obviously start next to other cars and then right at the start of the event you go into photo mode you take a picture with your car and a different car that's probably the easiest way if you can't find any of the driver tar cars on the map but it's probably quicker to just look for one here than to start up a race just to do that and we will see each other with the next challenge Next up we have a weekly Forza Fun challenge and chapter 1 intimidating competitor is own and drive the 2013 Mini X Raid all for racing countryman. That's quite the long name for quite a small car. Specifically designed to beat its rivals in Dakar Rally. This is a car that you can buy in the auto show if you don't have it and it costs 500,000 and it was also a reward in the playground games like two or three months ago not months weeks obviously it's it's seasons in the game we now have to scroll to mini where are we jeep lego getting closer lotus maserati mclaren we're getting there there it is i actually have two of them because i did the challenge twice so yeah, it's available for 500,000 in the auto show if you don't have it yet and that already completes the first challenge and next up we have chapter 2 cresting hills perform air skills in quick succession to earn free kangaroo skill combos in your mini x-ray to prepare for the terrain ahead the kangaroo skill combos are not particularly difficult because you just need to chain a couple of, of, of jumps together and I suggest doing it in an area like the beach here but really any area works everything where you can jump a lot there we have one it works in, in any area where you have a lot of bumps there's the second one and it only takes very small bumps as well like you don't need to get any ultimate air or, or anything it's just getting air skills and you get them every time you leave the ground so an area like this where you just another one that's even four five so this is a perfect area to do, to chain those in did we already complete another one Oh, we already completed chapter 3. What what did we do? <laughs> That's interesting. What a 
did we do? What's chapter three? Can we can we not check? Hold on, I'll find out what chapter three is. So apparently chapter three was earning an ultimate skill chain, which we literally did by just driving around here on the beach. I suggest just chaining chapters two and three like we just did. That's probably the easiest and quickest way to do it. Especially with the kangaroo skills that give you 1000 points per skill. So, And obviously you get the wreckage skills here, you get the, the air skills. And you can combine that to reach the ultimate skill chain. And then we see each other with chapter number four. And now we're here with chapter four, Mr. Dakar. The mini x raid came first in the Dakar rally four years in a row, repeat the success and win four cross country serious events. Cross country is, where is it? There it is, is the green one. And you just need to win four of them. That shouldn't be too difficult. And I will probably show the last one. I'm not going to show four races here. So we'll see each other with the last race of this series. So here we are with the fourth race and hopefully the fourth win as well. And there's one thing you need to pay attention to, and that is not all races let you use your mini. For example, this race has an SUV setting, and well, a mini is not an SUV. And obviously what you can do is do a custom event where you can use your mini, but I think the easiest way is to just choose a race where you can actually use the required car. And the one I'm going to show you, you saw it on the map where it was, is one of those races. It is also relatively short and simple and probably perfect for the occasion. We will now jump into it. And one thing you will learn about the Mini is it handles pretty well, it accelerates pretty well. But its top speed isn't particularly great. As you can see, we already reach it and we're doing 95. So that is not very good. However, its cornering speed and the speed and uneven terrain is top notch. So that is certainly something to keep in mind when using this car. As you can see here, this is where we suffer, the long straight. But now going into this terrain where the speeds are lower, we just breeze past these guys and can take much tighter corners and get a much better exit anyway and also through the mud through the sand through the beach we just have much better traction than these guys and we must make use of that instead of just banking on having the top speed to just drive past them here also the cornering speed that we can take into the corner and the break-in speed that is just so much better than with the other cars. And this is what makes the Mini special. If you have a track where you have a lot of straights like this, you're going to lose because, again, you only have a top speed of 95. But this was stock Mini, by the way. You can obviously tune it and get a better top speed and then also change the gearbox to give you a better top speed. But that's not something we want to do here. We want to explore the car as it's meant to be driven. That means in its regular state. And where the top speed just, it's not a strong suit. I mean, even when tuned, it's not a strong suit. So you really should make use of the advantages you have basically everywhere else. I mean, there is a reason why this car is so highly rated, there is a reason why this car is as quick as it is. And that's the corners, so that's the mud and the snow in the winter it performs very well in. It's the beach here, the sand. 
And in most terrains and those areas, you just have a massive advantage that you should make use of. Again, here we are already reaching our top speed. But the advantage in the other parts of the track has given us such a massive lead that we don't need to worry about it. There is one thing you should worry about, and that is the, the expert difficulties, where I'm really struggling with this car. I mean, probably struggle in every car an expert it's just the AI there is so good at taking these corners and not losing too much speed that you can't really make up the ground that you lose in the straights very well and there that car is suffering a bit but generally in races this car can easily pull its own weight it's just the overtakes work a little differently where normally you would just pull alongside someone in the slipstream and then go past them on a straight. Here you are more about overtaking in the corners and out of the corners. And that's already the end of the third lap. And that's the fourth win if I remember correctly. I think. <laughs> yep, there it is. And we will see each other with the seasonal stunts. And for our first PR stunt today, we have the danger sign, which is right here at the quarry. The open cast cliff. Now the regular free star rating is 950 feet. For the seasonal we need 984.3. In a lot of cases I suggest the rally fighter tuned with all wheel drive and the power upgrades because you just gather so much speed so quickly with the thing that it's ridiculous but really most tuned rally cars or anything very fast that can go off-road a little bit does the trick even some of the more performance based cars if you choose to tune them with all-wheel drive that is at least advised then i would start obviously you jump into the quarry like this so you need to start on this road and I start in this corner because obviously you can't take too much speed through that corner and then you have mostly a straight line towards it. And we will now pick up speed. As you can see the rally fighter is great at picking up speed. You have arrived at your destination. It's just not very great at going through corners but that's not one of our problems here and that should be good enough. It's 1180 which absolutely smashes the seasonal objective by I think 200 feet even. I hope you can do this one and we will see each other with the next PR stunt. So next up we have a speed trap which is down here. I would suggest starting on this side to race downhill. We need to reach 228 miles an hour. I pick the 4GT because it has quite good higher range speed even though the launch obviously with rear wheel drive isn't as ideal you just need to get through this corner and then let the power do its work we reach 228 we are up to 230 which is good enough obviously other hypercars work as well and you can also start from this side but this is a lot more difficult because A, you need to go uphill and the run-up isn't too great, as you can see there. You will also finish with first daily if you do it, because it's earned three stars in total from speed traps, which you do here as well. And the last one is the speed zone, as you can see here. You should probably do it downhill because that's a little bit faster. We are going to use the Tuned Rally Fighter again. A highly tuned rally car is probably an alternative. And 
now it's really about picking up speed and taking as much speed as you can down here and then going above 85 as quickly as we can so we don't dip below that average and just staying on the throttle as much as you can the corners will take a lot of speed away but as long as you can get very high speeds which we were able to do in the straight sections you're able to do it and that's why i suggest the all-wheel drive rally fighter again tune the car accordingly because of its insane acceleration especially downhill up the hill i wouldn't suggest that down the hill is a lot easier so i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching and until next time farewell